What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got a banger. We got ourselves a Life Orb Garchomp team with Tailwind Crobat and Flame Body Magmortar. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys rock. Seriously, the support on this channel has been crazy. I cannot thank you guys enough. But front spot on this team, we got ourselves Magmortar up in that top left corner with the Flame Body ability and Assault Vest item. Has a moveset of Heat Wave, Focus Blast, Thunderbolt, and Clear Smog. I like how it has Clear Smog so we can take off stat changes and just roll from there. To the right of him, we got ourselves Screens Grimmsnarl. You guys know I love myself good old Screens Pokemon. This thing is Prankster with Light Clay, Spirit Break, Reflect, Light Screen, and Fake Tier to lower special defense. Middle left, we got Stone Journal right behind my face cam. This thing's an absolute beast because of its ability, Power Spot, which gives an ally Pokemon on the field a 1.5 times attack booster. So if we pair him up with Garchomp, we're going to be able to do some big old damage. This thing also has the Paso Battery, so it can uh, eat up a Water Shot and then move, side, move set of Rock Slide, EQ, Wide Guard, and Protect. Our Tailwind Pokemon right next to it with that Crobat. Cannot wait to use this thing. Has Inner Focus ability, which is going to be great. So this thing cannot be faked out. And chances are it has that Focus Sash, so... We're going to be able to get off that tailwind most of the time. We also have Brave Bird for Stab, Taunt, and Screech. Screech will actually lower defense and pair well with the Garchomp as well. Bottom left, we got Milotic over here, which covers a lot of the new Dragon Pokemon because we have Ice Beam on it. We also have Recover, Scald, Protect, Competitive Nature, and Citrus Berry. Then in the final spot, we got the Golden Pokemon here. The Pokemon that we're trying to show off, we got Garchomp with that Life Orb and Sand Veil. Dragon Rush, EQ, Iron Head, and protect guys if you want to try this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen this team was made by my boy randy randy thank you so much for taking the time out of your day send it in this team and making it for me i really appreciate it but without further ado let's hop on to that casual ladder casual ladder i was gonna say rank ladder but let's hop into some casual ladders casual battles blah and try to get some wins with this team guys i'm wondering right now what four pokemon this guy is gonna go for i'm really wondering i'm really curious to what four pokemon this guy is gonna choose like, what is this? Why are you coming into battles when you only have four Pokemon? I guess we're going up against Lucario, Alcrimae, Snorlax, and Ferrothorn for first battle. That's the only downside to playing some casual battles. You get some people like this sometimes. We're only rocking four Pokemon. Like, at least throw in two random other Pokemon, so I don't know who you're throwing out. But I'm going to go with uh, Crobat and I think Magmortem right here. I think that's a uh, pretty well, pretty fine kind of thing. I can clear smoke. I can roll out after that. I that a Soul Fest. Neglects the Belly Drum and the, uh, the Decorate. I'm going to bring Garchomp, of course, because that thing's an absolute monster. And then in the final spot, do I want to go Myotic or Power Spot? I could go Power Spot. I kind of want Power Spot up in here. Let's roll it. Let's run it. Let's get it. Yeah. Power Spot Stone Journer in this final spot. This first battle should be kind of like a breeze here. It shouldn't be too, too hard. You should be able to just kind of roll out here because I kind of already know what he's going to try to set up. He's either going to try to decorate something or uh, roll out with the Belly Drum Snorlax. But I don't understand why people do that. Just throw in like four Pokemon. They're just throw in two other random Pokemon in your party. So it it shows six. You guys know what I'm saying? But if you guys want to catch more content from me, link is in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream three plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. Talk to me live. We have a good old time over there. But yo, look at Crobat and Magmortar. Oh, they're looking real good. They're looking real spiffy. Um, we're definitely gonna get off this tail and we'll try to take speed advantage. We have that focus ash and inner focus. And then I'm gonna just drop this uh this heat wave. Just drop this heat wave, get that stab damage rolling, and get going after that. But I can always clear smog after that. Tailwind's gonna give us that speed advantage, and we're gonna be thriving. Dude, Crobat is so sick. He looks so good in this game. It looks amazing. Heat wave comes out here. I'll cram dodges it. It's all good. I kinda just want to hit that Lucario more so. It's super effective, and we just dump on that thing. We tell it to get out of my face. We tell it to go home. He's like, hey, get out of here, boy. He's like, get out of here. I'll cram is gonna decorate. Yo, get out of my face. Not working on me. Not working on me. Stop trying to decorate. Stop trying to decorate over here. You should have Dynamax if you were decorating. Okay, now we're going to here. Um, I'm going to go for the heat wave again. Going to try to get a burn, and I guess we'll just, uh... Actually, I could just screech. I could screech and swap. No, I don't want to swap, because in case he goes for decorate, I can clear smog later. Um, I could swap you, because we might see a decorate, and then, uh... Probably not a decorate, maybe a belly drum or something along those lines. I could taunt. I'm just going to taunt you, so you don't get off that belly drum, and we don't have to waste anything. we we'll go for a focus blast. Yeah, we're going to go for a focus blast. Try to do some damage over on the Laxus side. Yeah, I'm gonna just taunt this thing. So it doesn't belly jump. There you go. Happy birthday. Here's a little taunt for you, buddy. Here's a little taunt. Let's see if Focus Blast can land. It does land. Oh, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Do some damage on this thing. Yes, sir, Magmortar. No stab. Stab would have took it out, but still big damage on it. Decorate's gonna come out here. That's fine. I'll clear smog it next turn. Drop you down a little bit. I ain't playing around. Gotta yeah, boost your stats. Attack getting the boost. Special attack getting the boost. It cannot belly jump either. Yep. That was my plan. And now I can just, uh, 
go into a Brave Bird here. Take you out, and then clear Smog over on that other side, just in case. We're chilling here. We're chilling here. Right? Clear Smog, even if I hit the like the other Pokemon, it will still change Snorlax's stats, right? I think that's the thing. I think it changes everything. Or no, that might just be Haze. Mmm. Mmm. So it could be a bad call, but either way, we're chilling here. We got Dynamax Garchomp in the back. We should be thriving. We should be thriving, even though I think this Brave Bird will still uh, take this thing out. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. He only, he's only like plus one. He's not anything special. And he's not even Gigantamax. He's not even Gigantamax for him, so no berry for you. That's huge for us. Dude tries going for that. Dude tries going for this. What you want, fool? Yo, we gonna run you right here. We gonna run you. Brave Bird come out. This should maybe pick up KO. Yeah, yo, get it out of here, bro. Get it out of here. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Only downside to casual battles sometimes. Sometimes you get really, really easy battles like this. But Clear Smog popping out here. This, this should still do a decent amount of damage, yeah, for Clear Smog. And all stat changes are gone. Now Kermit's gonna go with a recover. Yeah, yo, this game's over. This game is over with. If we had Cross Poison on this, this Crobat, he, he could just, like, dump on it. But still, we don't need it. Like, this is more of, like, a support Crobat. It, it, it thrives. It thrives with our other Pokemon. But let's get it. Throw out your final Pokemon. I'm not even going to Dynamax. We should have this one in the back. Heat Wave's going to be four times super effective to Ferrothorn. They see later that, and then I'll double up into you. No, not into you. I want to double up into Alcreme. You should just leave this battle, man. You should just leave it. It's over with. It's over with. We're just going to have a clean sweep battle number one. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Come on, make a move. You're not even going to run. Free Bird popping here. I'm very confident in this uh, Heat Wave just uh, doubling down and winning this battle here. Let's get it. Let's get it, Magmortar. The boy. I love how he, like, pulls out a cannon. He <laughs> shoots it out of it. Like, get out of my face. There we go. Doubles down. Picks up the double KO. And we get a clean sweep for battle number one. Just win this battle. Did we even take a hit? Did we even take a hit from any Pokemon? I don't even think we did. I'm not even sure, but one to know so far. Let's hop into our second battle. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy has a Swamper team right here. That's actually pretty exciting because I haven't seen Swamper being used yet. So gonna be cool hopefully he brings it along with his team he also has decidueye terrakion whimsicott salamence and hitmontop i definitely want to bring my crowbat try to match that tailwind speed so uh we're gonna go crowbat right off the rip crowbat's gonna get cruise now here i love it's typing too the flying and poison it's just oh that's awesome i love it so much um what's well, gonna go out into i definitely want to bring the garchomp with the life orb but who do i want to lead do i want to lead screens start getting screens up i feel like that's totally cool go garchomp in the back and then uh E -ba -ba -bum. Mag Mortar or Power Spot? I swear we go Mag Mortar. I think Mag Mortar's chilling here. Has that Heat Wave. Heat Wave can put on Burns. Has that Flame Body as well for these physical attackers. So yeah, we're going to go here. Has also that Assault Vest so we can eat up some special attacking shots. We should be thriving. We should be thriving. Bam, 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 bam. But if you guys want to create teams for me or if you guys do have teams, head in the link in the description below. You guys already know this deal. I'm still looking for teams because there are so many Pokemon in the Crown Tundra that I want to show off. But head in that link in the description below, jeans underscore YouTube on Instagram. Click on that link. Follow me over there. Send me some DMs. Be like, yo, jeans, here's a team. Check it out. Or if you want to build me a team, ask me, yo, what Pokemon are you looking to use? But if you guys do not have Instagram, maybe whisper it to me on Twitch or leave it in YouTube comments. YouTube comments are going to be the toughest for me, but most of the YouTube comments I will see. But he goes Terrakion and Wimscott, so beat up over here. Kind of obvious. Uh, I could drop a Brave Bird. I could drop a Brave Bird. I could Brave Bird, but I actually want to Tailwind. And I could set up a Reflect. Oh, and then I get Magmorta out here and Clear Smog the funds off this. Mmm, that's so nice. That would be so nice. But let's get off this Reflect real quick and roll from here. This is obviously going to be beat up. He's going to Dynamax track and I'm cool with that. Um. Okay. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of how else we can play this. Because if we just start, if we can start getting off screens, if we get off screens and a Tailwind, I think we should be thriving. Maybe I shouldn't have Tailwind this turn, but he's going to drop a rock. Hopefully. Actually, I don't know. I want him to drop a rock, but I want my Crobat to get an extra turn. But if he drops a rock, I get my Sand Bell going out with my Garchomp. Which is pretty nice. He's not going to Dynamax, which is wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Okay, we take that all day. We take that all day. He might just Rock Slide then. He might just Rock Slide. Tailwind popping here. I think we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. Probably not. This thing's throwing something. He's going for a Moonblast. That's fine. Go for my Grimstarl. You can do as much damage as you want to my Grimstarl. Like, once I get, get off these screens, this thing's gone. Don't just popping here. We're going to be able to eat. That's a tasty snacky out there. And then Crobat will go down here. Should I Screech? Do I Screech out? Lower defense before we roll. Um, what do I break for a drop? I 
kind of want to talk to someone. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up a light screen. Press spirit break. Set up a light screen now. I'm gonna set up a light screen and taunt that thing. I'd rather have that Wimscott taunt so it can't really like do any pester moves and all that. Like fake gears, all that good stuff. Beat up. Actually, it can go for a beat up. So, we're gonna see what this thing's gonna do. I think he's going to maybe. No, he's not gonna Dynamax here. I was gonna say maybe Dynamax and take out my Grimmsnarl. But maybe his, his Stone Edge will miss. He's gonna go for a Tailwind. Oh, dude, this is exactly why I wanted to taunt him. Exactly why I wanted to taunt him. But we'll get the taunt off here. And what are you going for, Terrakion? Terrakion, what are you doing? Stone Edge comes out and he connects twice. Dude connects twice with a Stone Edge. And there goes my Crobat. Crobat did fine. Got a Tailwind up and uh, got the taunt on that thing. So. Now we're definitely going to go for Garchomp, get him in there, and potentially Dynamax, and roll from there. I was going to go Mag Mortar, but he never went for the beat-up. He never went for the beat-up. We could start fake here, but that's only the other one. But we're just going to go for Max Quake. We got Stab on that. We're going to put it over on Thrakion's side, and then just start Spirit Breaking. Do I double up into that, or do I take off the Sash? I said we double up into you, just in case. We have our screens up. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to just double up into this thing. If we take it out with the Max Quake... That's that's fine. Then we'll take off the sash of the Wimscott. Come on, Garchomp. Time to show you off, big dog. Yo, I love this Pokemon. I know a lot of people have been waiting to see this. Uh, oh, a strong Garchomp team. And I think we have one on our hands right here. Because we used Garchomp in the last video, but he was Choice Bandit. So it was just like he was kind of just like a back-end Pokemon that you come in Choice Band. But this team is exactly what I wanted. Yo, Randy came in clutch, making us ourselves an awesome team right here. Life for Garchomp team. This is where it's at. This is where it's at. And we still have to show off like Metagross to a full extent. Again, I did a video on Metagross, but I don't have a full Metagross team yet. I got one coming on the way, so be tuned. Stay tuned for a good old Metagross team. If you don't withdraw that, that's totally fine. Do not go into a flying Pokemon. What is Dractac? Oh my god, is this, is this thing considered part flying? Intimidate's coming out strong. Um, this thing, is this thing considered flying? It might be. I think it is. I think it is, which is going to be such a strong play by this guy. Such a huge play by him. I know Salamence is Dragon, obviously, but it might just be straight Dragon. I'm trying to think. It might just be straight Dragon. I don't think about it. Which I hope so. It's in the air, so I I, I think it, I think it might be part flying. It could be wrong. Let's see what happens here. Max Wake, yeah, it's part flying. Okay. This thing is part flying. It doesn't affect that thing. And he gets that free Intimidate off here. But a Spirit Break is going to roll out on the other side, and we should be able to eat this up all day. Bang. Thank you, Light Screen. And Spirit Break is going to pop off over here. Which is chilling. Spirit Break, get after it. Aye. Bang. Nice damage. Another Spirit Break. We'll take that out. And what do I go from here? From here, We'll get a special attack drop. What is this thing's physical anyway? Um, let's start lowering attack his way. But I'd rather just go for a Steel Spike. That way. And then drop a Spirit Break on that left side. Okay. We're thriving. We're thriving. That Intimidate was huge. That is part of the reason why Milotic is on this team. Competitive just takes off Intimidate. Considering so many Pokemon do have Intimidate here. But we're going to get that defense boost right here. Bang, and what's called shoot? Mmm, you buttery biscuit. You outspeed. You're gonna outspeed and take out my boy Grimmy. Don't take out my boy Grimmy. You get that defense boost, which is pretty big though. Show me that you eat this. Show me that you eat this. I knew that thing was gonna be sash. Moonblast coming out here. Eat it up, Grimstarl. Hey yo, that's a tasty snack you got there. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna survive on like one, man. <laughs> Wait, drops for Grimstarl. We're gonna be able to bring out Magmortar here. This thing's gonna go for a Dragon Claw. That's easy eats, dude. All day. All day. Plus one defense. And we got the uh, screens up. We're chilling. Magmortar's getting out here. Getting going. Uh, can I clear smog and take off stat changes to my Garchomp? That'd be pretty cool, but that's not what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave and double up into the, uh, the Salamence. That's the play. That is the play. Uh, do we warm win? No, I'm just going to Steel Spike. Get that defense boost. Help us out just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think this game is still still definitely winnable with these two Pokemon on the field. I know he still has his Dynamax, but we did some damage. Uh, did we do any damage to Terrakion? I know he has Terrakion, and then I do not know who the last Pokemon is. But, yo, Max Quake, we still have a turn with that. But he might just guard up after that. That's what I'm thinking. If we take out both these Pokemon here, I do not go for the Terrakion with a Max Quake. Because I think he's just going to Dynamax that and guard up. I think that's going to be his play. But let's see what happens here. He's going to protect. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We'll still get that defense boost. Boom Blast comes out. Actually, we cannot max speak. This is our last turn. This is our last turn here. Steel Spike coming out here. Let's get it. Still going to get that boost as well, which is huge for us. 
And then Heat Wave's gonna come out here, do a little bit of work on his side. And we gotta roll from there. But then our, does Tailwind peter out for him too? I think this might be his last turn Tailwind, and then we should be faster than this is Pokemon here. Get this thing out of here. Get that, get that Wimscott out of here. Finally, support Mongol. Get it going. Now, the little question is, who's faster? My guard chomp or his Salamence? That's gonna be a huge, huge little, little thing going on here. Tailwinds are gone, both sides. That's fine. I might actually protect my guard chomp here and throw a heat wave to take out his Salamence. And maybe potentially get a burn on this track. That might be the play. Let me check the speed real quick. That might be the play. We'll see, because Trakian's fast as well. Look at these Pokemon out on the field. This is nuts. Let's check Chomsky's little little stuff. His stuff and things. 154. Um, I think Salamence. Trakian's definitely going to be able to speed it. It's a little scary. But we have the plus two on defense, and we have a little fucked up. Uh, do I protect you? Look at this. Moves, bro. EQ stab. I would love to drop. But it's super effective against Magnum Mortar. E. I'm just gonna protect here. I'll drop a heat wave. It is not very effective on both of them. Mm, we gotta double up. We gotta double up here. I gotta get rid of the Salamence. I'm just gonna go for a uh, an Iron Head, I guess. But that thing has a higher percentage of hitting and a heat wave. We're gonna heat wave just for the chance of getting burns. Just for a chance of getting burns, we're gonna see a Dynamax Terrakin. If we get this burn on this thing, it should be thriving. It should be thriving. I think that's what I'm re relying on right here. This is big old burn. The big old burn on this thing. That'd be so nice. That'd be wonderful. Let's see what you got, dude. Let's see what you got. I don't think he has it in him. He's gonna outspeed and just dump on me. I already know what's going on. Let's get after it. Iron Head comes out. Take that thing out. Get him out of my face. Yeah, okay. Get that thing out of my face. Tomsky outspeeds that, but Terrakion should be able to outspeed my Magmortar. I thought he would outspeed my other thing. He's gonna go for a Quake and take out my Magmortar. Which, okay, now that I know I'm faster. Oh, eat that up all day. No stab, but special defense boost? Um, I wish I had protect on this thing. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. We still have Chomsky just chilling here. Heat wave, show me the burn. Show me the burn. Give it. Give it. Give it. Oh, no burn. And Flame Body didn't pop out either. I guess it doesn't work for, uh... For Dynamax moves? I'm not too sure. But we know Garchomp is faster. Who are you throwing out here? I, th I feel like it's going to be a Pokemon that's going to protect. I don't even know what this is. It is him on top with Fake Out. Okay. Um, now I protect. He's going to do this on my Garchomp. You see that all day. He's going to Fake Out my Garchomp. And now I'm just going to Heat Wave and drop. Let's go. Let's go. We playing this one slow. We playing this one slow. I ain't messing around. No messing around. He can go for a special defense boost all he wants. Because once my guard chomp starts teeing off on this thing with EQs, we're, we're thriving. Hit my top's gotta be going for a fake out. That guy doesn't have Intimidate on it. Fake out comes out. Block. Get out my face. Get out my face. We read that all day. He's gonna go for a rock fall. Give me my sand veil, baby. Give me my sand veil all day. Give me my sand veil. Give me my sand veil. Okay. Magmortar's probably gonna go down to Buffets. Hopefully we can pick up burns. We're gonna outspeed. And EQ can do some mad damage here. Heat wave, show me some burns. Show me some burns. Give him up. Give it up. No burns. Eat this up. He does eat on one, which is absolutely wonderful. Um. Now the real question is, do I have to go for an EQ? Look, I have to go for an EQ. Look, I have to go for an EQ. Magmortar, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to go down here. Hopefully you dodge it. That's what I'm hoping. But we gotta go for an EQ. It's our one shot here. It's our one little chance here. This thing's going for a wide. Wow. What a play. What a play. What a play. By Buttery Biscuit McGee over here. What a play. He can't wide guard twice. Uh, that does not do anything because of wide guard. Jeez, man. Magmortar faints. We take out our own Magmortar. Oh my lord. Eat this up, buddy. Max Quake coming out here. Eat this up. You're plus two. You're plus two, buddy. And we have a flag. Okay, we eat. You. I don't think you can wide guard twice in a row. I really don't think you can do that. He's going to get special defense boost. And I'm hoping EQ can just clear this board and win us the game. Dude, this one's so close. Yo, Garchomp's clutching right now. I need you here, Garchomp. That should be end of Dynamax. Yeah, end of Dynamax there. None of these guys have first turn priority moves. Actually, this thing might have bullet punch, which is very scary. But somehow, I feel like we would still eat. 
Oh, I'm still gonna go for an EQ. I don't think you can wide guard twice in a row. I think it's, it works just like protect. Come on, Doom 30, Garchomp. Clutch it up, baby. You're OP. There's no one better. There's no one better than you. Come on, yo. Fingers crossed right here. This would be an awesome battle to show off Garchomp with. Come on. Let's get it. Dump on these fools. Take them out. We have Sand Veil going, so who, who knows? We might actually dodge some attacks here, too. We have that Sand Veil going. This dude's like, wants to protect or something, but he knows I'm going for EQ. EQ drops. Let's go. Double kill for the win. Oh my lord, we do not take you out because of that Intimidate drop. Don't, yo. Dodge this attack, buddy. Dodge this attack. Dodge it. Dodge it all day. Sand Veil coming out. Sand Veil for the win. Yo, Sand Veil for the win. Are you kidding me? We're too good. We're too good. We gotta go for a move that's gonna hit 100% of the time. Um, let me just go for an Iron Head. Let's go. Let's go. He has no first turn priority moves. Not that I know of. Not that I know of, but yo, your chop is too clutch. He's too good. He's too good. Sandvale coming up clutch. And we were going to put, uh, my boy Randy was going to put rough skin on him, but Sandvale coming up clutch, my dudes. Yes, sir. Battle was canceled. Let's go. One and one. We're going to hop into our third and final battle. Or no, we're two and oh now. We're going to hop into our third and final battle. Try to get a winning record. That was such a good second battle right there. Got to show off Garchomp, his ability, the damage he can do, how he can eat up shots with the defense boost. Oh my god, that was amazing. I'm glad we got that one on recording. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. We're sitting at 2-0, looking for that perfect record, and we're going up against a very, very strong team right here. I can already tell he's got himself Galarian Articuno, Ferramosa, Stakataka, Rillaboom with the fake out, Incineroar with the fake out, and Intimidate Drop. And he also has Tapu Fini over here. So I'm, I'm looking for the lead of... Uh, Crobat and Milotic here, considering as Intimidate, um, we can protect to block the fake out. We got inner focus, so we should be thriving there for the fake outs. Um, bringing Garchomp in the back end, and then in the final spot, maybe going Magmortar, or do we go Power Spot, Stone Journey? I'm thinking Magmortar. I think we go Crobat, uh, Competitive Milotic, Garchomp, and Magmortar here. I feel like that's thriving. I, I feel like we're thriving with that. Let's get after it. Crobat, Milotic, Chomsky. I love that name. It's just Chomsky. <laughs> just cracks me up, man. And then we can roll out from here. Let's get it. Let's get it. I could uh, I could have actually led the uh, the what's called, but I didn't want to because of the intimidate drop. The uh, bar chomp. As because you guys could tell in the last battle, the intimidate drop almost lost his battle, but Sandville kind of helped us out there. Got them missing all the good stuff. We go stock attack and Rillaboom. I can see a definite definite trick room popping out here. So I'm not gonna throw out a uh, a what's called just yet. I'm not going to throw out, this could be weak this monster, which is kind of scary. But I really don't want to just uh, start going after that thing, try and do some damage. But, how should I play this one? How should I play this one? I think we're just going to drop a big old Brave Bird, or I could taunt. We're going to taunt, that's exactly what we're going to do. In our focus, we'll taunt that, cancel that Trick Room. And then we're just going to drop an Ice Beam over onto the Real Boom slot, try to do some damage. Let's get it. You can fake me out, I do not care. He's got a Dynamax early on, okay. Okay. Early Dynamax with that Beast Ball, so Stock Attack is coming out here, so taunt was, was a waste of turn. It was definitely a waste of the turn. I wonder why so he's gotta be a uh, weakness policy hit. Oh, what's what move? That's my question. He's gotta be triggering a weakness policy. And drop in a rock. Go ahead, drop a rock on me. I will set up my sand mail. <laughs> and we will throw a fake out come out here. On the mile like smart. Kinda knows that this thing has inner focus. Long comes out, going to do nothing because this thing is done. Actually, actually can't protect. Pretty nice. Mile take flinches and this thing's going to drop the rock. Pretty straightforward. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Crobat's gonna go down to buff the damage, obviously. Brings out the Sash, but then it's down. Okay, that's fine. The strong first turn by him. I could just bring out uh, Chomsky here. Chomp could thrive. And then we do have Magmortar. I really want to have my Crobat alive a little bit longer, but we're getting out my boy Chomp. We're getting him out. He's got the Sand Bell. He can dodge up some shots and roll from there. Uh, gotta watch out for this, like, Grassy Guy and stuff. So I might just protect next turn. And go after this, uh... This roll boom and drop attack because both these dudes are physical attackers, right? I believe so. I believe so. Get my boy out here. Get my boy out. We do have EQ, but again, weakness policy. You gotta watch out for that. So I start, I'd rather start dropping attack, hitting on that roll boom slot, and then rolling from there. Man, I thought he was gonna trick him. I thought he was looking for the fake out trick room setup, but all good. Get after us. Uh, worm win. Yeah, we're gonna worm win over on you and then just uh, protect you because I don't want grassy guy just rolling through doing damage to me. And potentially taking out my Milotic. I'd rather keep this thing alive a little bit longer. Maybe force the, uh, the what's called come out here. The Incineroar. 
Because I wouldn't mind if, uh, if Garchomp gets Intimidate dropped. If, uh, what's called out here. If Competitive Milotic's out here. Because that, that would be, like, that would be, like, a plus for me. Like, he'll minus my attack by one for my Garchomp, but plus two on my special attack for my Milotic. And then we could just be rolling and thriving. But let's see what this dude does. What are you going to do, kind sir? Protect popping out from a mouth because, yo, you got to be going for a grass guy or a wood hammer. Something along those lines got to be coming this way. Right, yeah, grass guy coming out towards my mouth. We're going to eat that one up. And then I might just swap and go into my flame body after this. Let's see, let's get that attack drop here. Bill doing some nice damage. Ooh, bringing it down. The buffet should be able to clean that one up. Actually, no, it's not. It is not going to be able to because of the, uh, the grassy, the grassy terrain. Let's steal spike popping out here over onto Garchomp. Garchomp, that should be a nice tasty snack for you. Yeah, all day. Okay. Read that one up. He's gonna get the defense boost, which is actually pretty huge for him. He's a defensive tank. Um, I could swap in the Mag Mortar. But at the same time, I do not want to. I might just recover. Oh, that takes him out. The buffets go first. Let's get it. Let's go, dude. I'm loving that. And we get the terrain health. We get the terrain health. Good to know. Good to know. I think I think uh me hopefully he brought in Cinema. Actually, I kind of hope he doesn't. And Cinema's just a pain in the neck to, to battle with, you know? Fairmost is going to thrive through. This thing's got to have the sash on it. It's kind of obvious. Uh, but then, we, do we quick now? Do we quick now? Or do I... I feel like we just keep dropping attack. I just feel like we keep dropping stock attack as attack. Until... Until we get that thing out the way. Or until the Dynamax is over. And maybe try to get a scroll off on this thing. Because I can see this thing being totally sash. If I can just uh, keep uh, lowering this thing's attack. Chomsky avoids attack. Sandville coming in big, yo. Sandville's rocking out for us. It's two for two on the day. Yep, I knew this thing was going to be Sash. We're going to bring that thing down. And then I do not want to trigger that thing's weakness policy. Because, again, I think it has a weakness policy. And we're just going to keep lowering that thing's attack until we're uh, until the Dynamax turns are over. Yo, dude. Sandville clutching up for us all day. Skull coming out here. Bang. See you later, Faramosa. We're playing this one so well right now. The plan is so good with our guard trap. And now, if he has Incineroar, Sinner he's forced to go out into it, which I, I, I don't mind at all. He's going to go back into the Steel Spike, attack Slower again. Chomsky's eating up all day. All day long. We bossing up. We are bossing up right now. Dude, Sandville is actually really, really good. I haven't used it too, too much until Garchomp came out. And, bro, it's thriving. Like, I think I'm, like, four for five on Sandville hits. Because we dodged one in the last video, but then we got hit by the next one. But it's been clutching up. It's two for two on the day here. It's two for two on the day here. And Veil vale thrives, dude. I didn't think it would be that strong. But it, it won us our last battle. And it pretty much maybe won us this battle. Because I think that Ice Beam maybe would have taken us out. But still, we're thriving. We're looking good. We're feeling good. Sakataka is still big. And his final Pokemon is... If it's Incineroar, like I said, we're, we're chilling. I'll just protect this turn. Okay, it's Articuno. I'm fine with that. I am totally fine with that. Stock attack goes down. We have one turn with the guard chomp. Now I'm going to drop my max quick and I'm going to double into stock attack slot. Because I'm kind of worried about that. And get my special uh, uh, defense boost as well for that Valerian Articuno. And I'd rather scald here because that's stab. Actually, I think they're both stab. Now, I know water for sure is stab. Let's get after it. Freezing glare comes out. That's easy eats, baby. Easy eats. We're going to be able to outspeed this thing all day. And then we have what's called in the back end too, Mag Mortar. Quake coming out here. Beautiful. And I can just protect next turn as well but he comes out and just dumps on it bang get out my face yo we playing too good today we are playing too good this guard chomp is op yo i swear this thing's just teeing off it eats up shots it's pretty fast it hits like a truck it is amazing all around but there goes our dynamax we we did everything we wanted we saw mag mortar in the back and then we have milotic right here this is our final pokemon give me the burn even though burn wouldn't do much it would just kind of give us some damage buff it's chilling out here oh but that freezing glare did hit and our sand veil didn't didn't work out here Man, I thought our sand veil was going to be perfect on the day. Went two for three, which is still absolutely amazing. That is solid. That is so solid. Garchomp's Dynamax goes back down. And then... We're just going to finish off this battle. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Dragon Rush going to come out here. And we are just going to... Uh, I just called it. Just called it to finish this one off. Even though I should have Ice Beam. Super effective. Let's get it. Freezing Glare comes out here. No, sand veil doesn't work again. <laughs> I thought Zanville was going to be... Oh, no, you go after Milotic. That's fine. That's GG, then. That's GG. It was going to be GG, anyway. 
Dragon Rush comes out. Yeah, hey. good way to finish this off. We got Garchomp flying from above, slap it up on that Articuno, and we go 3-0, which is awesome. Yo, the last two battles were amazing battles. Got to show off Garchomp, Garchomp to his fullest potential. Do I need to say anything more? Garchomp is OP. Those last two battles just showed off how strong this thing can actually be. That first battle was slow. There was only four Pokemon, but we still picked up that win and got a perfect record for this video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.